Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's me Karen and today I'm so excited because I am participating on a challenge that Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home issued and this challenge is called the one box challenge and what we have to do is we have to fill out um, a one box full of things that we don't need anymore in our home and for me um, my target was my daughter's room their closet so their closet right now is a hot mess I mean they have so many toys so many clothes and they have so many items that I never want to get rid of because they have sentimental values to me so this inspired me to go ahead and tackle all of those um, things that I need to do in their closet I'm slowly but surely um, organizing it more and making it look nicer so let me go ahead and show you guys what I got out of their closet so this is the box that I decided to fill out it's just an Amazon box and I'm sorry for the background noise, it's my daughter, she's playing with one of the items that I'm um, planning to donate. But um, this is the box and, and as you can see, well I took out a lot of things so I could show you all um, what they are, but most of it is clothes. So like I said earlier in the video, I tend to hold on to a lot of clothes. Mainly because of my daughter. I have a seven year old and then I have a two year old. So I'm always holding on to my oldest daughter's clothes because I'm thinking in my head, oh, you know, it will fit um, my little one in the future. But obviously, that is not a good plan to do um, with every item because obviously, you're always going to be stuck with so much clothes. So what I did is I just went through a lot of her clothes that um, I believe I don't need to keep. Just like dresses that were um, either gifted to me or bought in the thrift store or anything like that. Just little dresses, undershirts, stuff like that. Here on this side I have more very very old dresses. Um, like this one. This was a very old dress uh, when my oldest one was a newborn. Some skirts, some sweaters, um, shirts. This is a little blanket that I was gifted um, my little one was born. And then this is a apron, but I don't use this one anymore. I actually have another one that I use, so I'm sure someone will enjoy it um, if they find it in the thrift store. Here I just have more clothes um, that I know another little girl would be so happy to have. Some pants, some overalls, a skirt. And then right here in the bottom I have two pillows um, that are really, really old. But I just wanted to keep them just in case we needed some. But um, we haven't used them for years. So I'm going to get rid of these. I'm sure someone else could do something with it. And then I have this um, game also, it's Mousetrap, and as you can see, I did I did buy it um, at the thrift store, so I don't mind getting rid of this one at all. And my little one is playing with it, but um, I need to take it away from her before she starts losing pieces. And then here is um, just a book that they don't use anymore. And then I also have this pillow here that I purchased a while back ago from Ross. It has a hole here. But before I go and donate it, I do always ask my mother um, to look through the things to see if she wants to keep anything. Obviously for this, she's not going to keep um, any clothes. But for household items, I always ask her for because I know um, sometimes we have the same taste in things, so she likes to keep um, some items. And I did just recently give her a waffle maker because we have one and someone actually um, gifted my husband another one. So I gave that one to her just yesterday. And so I'm going to see if she wants to keep this. Maybe she can make another cover for it. Um, she's very... Um, She's very crafty like that. I am not that crafty. Like, I don't know how to sew things and stuff. I do want to learn. But, um, yeah. So, I will ask her first if she wants. I am planning on donating this to Goodwill. So, if they don't take it, then I'll probably just go ahead and 
um, get rid of it. And adding to all of these things, I do have another bag full of clothes and toys. Um, so yeah, I did take out a lot of things and I still have so many more things to go through. So, um, yeah, that is it for my one box challenge. So thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope, um, this inspires you to do a little purging throughout your home. I know we all have those little corner areas that we all tend to, either ignore or just leave it to last and we just don't end up doing anything to it so i really do hope this inspires you um to do something throughout your home i know you'll feel so much better about your space after you're done with it and um, i want to say thank you so much to rachel from sweet and simple home again thank you for issuing this challenge and inspiring all of us ladies to um, declutter your home and be more organized so again thank you so much for watching you guys and if you are not subscribed to my channel i would love for you to subscribe i would love to have you in my little youtube family again thank you so much for watching and i hope you all have a great weekend